Recognized as the notorious leader of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, USSR, Joseph Stalin was best known for his ruthless dictatorship from 1929 to 1953, contributing to the significant transformation of the Soviet Union during his reign. However, the old tale was told that despite all of his achievements, he failed on the greatest one, contributing as a father figure in his children's lives. In this video, we wouldn't talk about how the Soviet Union was transformed under the rule of Stalin, but about the sad lives of Stalin's children. During his years of revolutionary activities, Stalin got married to two wives, Ekaterin Svanzdin and Nadzda Aliyeva, and subsequently had three offspring, Yakov Digosklyvli, Vasily Stalin, and Svetlana Aliyeva, who all experienced tragic lives. Yakov Lasovich Dizgostovili was the son of Stalin's first wife, Ekaterin Svandes, a seamstress. Yakov was born on March 31, 1907, in Baji, a village in the Kutsai government of the Russian Empire, now in western Georgia. By that year, Stalin had established himself as Georgia's leading Bolshevik. A few months after Yakov's birth, Stalin organized a high-profile Tiflis bank robbery, forcing his wife and son to fly to Baku with them to avoid arrest. In December 1907, Svandes died at the age of 22 because of typhus, while Yakov was only nine months old. Stalin, his father, a young revolutionary in his mid-twenties, left Yakov to be raised by Svanda's relatives for 14 years without a single visit. In 1921, at the age of 14, Yakov was brought to Moscow, where his father had become a leading figure in the Bolshevik government, eventually becoming dictator of the Soviet Union. At that time, his father had got married to Nadzda Aliyeva, and after his move to Moscow, his half-siblings, Svetlana and Vasily, were born. Yakov was close to his half-siblings and his stepmother despite being disregarded and forbidden to adopt the name Stalin by his father. He attempted to commit suicide many times when Stalin became enraged at his desire to marry Zoya Giona. They did ultimately marry and moved to Leningrad. In 1929, they had an infant daughter who died eight months later of pneumonia. Aftermath, Yakov and Giona split up, although they did not officially divorce. Years later, Yakov became engaged with Olga Golisheva, which soon ended. It was not until 1938 that he learned of his son, Yevgeny, who then took his surname through Stalin never recognized nope. Yevgeny as his grandson. In 1935, Yakov graduated from the Institute of Transport and, for the next couple of years, worked as a chimney sweep engineer at an electric plant factory named after Stalin. Yakov married Yulia Meltzer, and they had an only daughter, Galina Yakolovena Dasgusavli. In 1937, he entered the Artillery Academy and graduated four years later. Yakov and Artyom Sergeyev, Stalin's adopted son, were sent to the front lines when the Soviet Union was invaded by Nazi Germany in Operation Barbarossa. Then, during the Battle of Smolensk, Yakov was captured, which was deemed a disgrace by his father. Stalin then imprisoned Yakov's wife, Meltzer, as punishment, and their daughter was taken care of by Svetlana. In 1943, he was imprisoned at the Schanzenhausen, a German Nazi concentration camp in Oranienburg, Germany. After the Battle of Stalingrad, German Field Marshal Frederick Paulus surrendered. The Germans offered to swap Yakov for him, which was outright refused by Stalin, who quipped, I will not trade a marshal for a lieutenant. A few months later, Yakov died at Sashuhasen. In 1977, Yakov was awarded the first class of the Order of the Patriotic War. Vasily Losofovich Stalin, born in Moscow, Russia, on March 21, 1921, was the son of Joseph Stalin by his second wife, Nade Zila Alehuyuva who committed suicide in 1932. After the death of Alila Yuva, Joseph Stalin stopped visiting his children, who were left to be looked after by the nursemaid and security guards. The tragic loss of his mother and the neglect of his father led the 13-year-old Vasily to begin drinking and grow more violent, nervous, rebellious, and spoiled. 
1933, Vasily was enrolled in Moscow Model School No. 25, a prominent public school, and was then transferred out of the school to Special School No. 2. One year later, Vasily, now aged 17, was sent to the Kashniks Military Aviation there, School. There, he usually used his name to obtain privileges. In 1940, he graduated with excellent final marks and was given the rank of Air Force Lieutenant. Vasily served in the 16th Fighter Aviation Regiment of the 57th Aviation Brigade stationed in the Moscow Military District. In 1940, Vasily studied at the Zhukovsky Air Force Academy and graduated the following year. He was appointed Inspector Pilot of the 2nd Division of the Red Army Air Force Office. When the Soviet Union was invaded by Nazi Germany in 1941, Vasily was transferred to the front and given the surname Ivanov to conceal his identity. However, as the son of Stalin, he rarely flew in combat. Vasily was elevated numerous times during the war. In the spring of 1943, he was sent back to Moscow and given a role inspecting the conditions of the Air Force. Vasily then had himself in trouble after a 4th of April 1943 incident where he had explosives dropped into the Moskva River, injuring himself and killing the flight engineer. As a result of the explosion, Vasily was demoted. In 1944, he was sent back to the front, serving as an inspector of the First Guards Fighter Corps. At the age of 24, he was made the youngest Major General in the Red Army, a rank beyond his ability. He was then promoted to Lieutenant General and ultimately Commander of the Air Forces of the Moscow Military District. According to his sister, his promotion was just for those responsible to curry favor with my father. He was awarded several decorations, including the Order of Red Banner, the Order of Alexander Nevsky, and the Order of Suvorov. As a result of the Soviet occupation, he was transferred to Germany. After his father died in 1953, Vasily developed a severe alcohol problem and was sentenced to eight years in prison for the denigration of the Soviet Union's leaders, anti-Soviet propaganda, and criminal negligence. He was released in 1960 but soon went back to prison and was exiled to Kazan. Vasily Stalin died in disgrace two days in 1962 due to his years of hard drinking. Svetlana Losfavna Liliyevna was born Svetlana Losfavna Stalina on February 28, 1926 in Moscow, was the only daughter of Joseph Stalin and his second wife, and was the apple of his eyes. In 1933, Svetlana and her brother, Vasily Stalin, began attending Moscow School No. 25. While Vasily was transferred to a new school, Svetlana would stay until 1943, when she graduated the 10th grade. In her teens, her father became consumed by the war with Germany and grew distant and sometimes abusive. After graduation from Moscow University, she became a teacher of Soviet literature and English language there. She then joined the Progress Publishing House, where she worked as a literary translator. After her father died in 1953, she changed her name by taking on her mother's maiden name of Aliliyuva, distancing herself from her family's identity. In 1963, Svetlana met and fell in love with Kenwar Brishesh Singh, an Indian communist visiting Moscow, who she referred to as her husband without official marriage. After his death, she visited his native India, and with the help of American officials, she defected to the United States in the spring of 1967, causing an international furor. Upon her arrival in New York City in April 1967, she gave a press conference denouncing her father's legacy and the Soviet government. She then changed her name to Lana Peters and was outspoken about her life via interviews and books. Leaving her adult children in the USSR in 1978, Svetlana became a U.S. naturalized citizen. In 1984, during a time when Stalin's legacy saw partial rehabilitation in the Soviet Union, together with her daughter Olga, she returned to the Soviet Union and had her Soviet citizenship reinstated. Svetlana mostly lived the last two years of her life in southern Wisconsin, United States, until she died of complications arising from colon cancer on November 22, 2011. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other animated history shows. 